Do you want to learn how to install Android Q GSI on your Xiaomi Poco F1? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Android Q GSI on your Xiaomi Poco F1. All credits for Android Q GSI go to Erfan. I have linked his Telegram group in the description of this video. Go ahead and check it out. But do not spam the group. I have also linked his PayPal in the description of the video in case you want to donate to him. Also, I would like to thank someone called Testrangis. I met him on Telegram. He gave me a few tips on how to make the Android Q GSI work on the Xiaomi Poco F1. What are the things which you need? You need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have Twerp Recovery installed. Do note, we're going to do a factory reset and a format data. So you will lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on the phone. So make sure you have backed those things up. Is this Android Q GSI daily driver? As of now, no. I personally do not recommend you to install it with the hopes of it being a daily driver. If you want to see or have a look or feel how Android Q is, then you can go ahead and try this, but do not expect it to be a daily driver as of now. Do note, things are going to move pretty fast now. I will have a sticky or a pinned comment on this video with the latest status updates or if I post a new video. That being said, let's see what all things we need. But before that, let's go into settings go into about phone as you can see right now i am running miui 10.2.3.0 stable and you need to make sure that you have removed your me account and then go into sync and also remove your google account once you've done those things go back go into lock screen and password and make sure you have removed your pin face unlock data or any other security measures which you have on your Xiaomi Poco F1. We're doing this because we're going from MIUI to Android Q and I do not want you peeps to be locked out of your own device. We'll now see what all files we need. We'll open file manager, click on archives. These are the files which you need. You need fixed zygote zip file, you need permissive zip file, then you need disable force encryption zip file, lineage OS, I'm using the unofficial build zip file and you need the vendor from Oxygen OS port for the Xiaomi Poco F1. Other than that, we'll also be using an application called Z Archiver, and you also need the .7z file for the Android Q GSI A only. Links to all of these files can be found in the description of this video. First step we're going to do is we will extract this 7-zip file. So we'll click this guy and then click on extract here. Once the 7-zip file for the Android Q GSI has extracted successfully, we have a new file called Q underscore A only underscore a version number dot IMG. At this point, we'll click on the home screen and now we need to boot into Twerp Recovery. To do that, you need to turn off your Xiaomi Poco F1. And once you have turned your phone off, you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the Twerp Recovery boot logo. Once we are into app recovery, we will click on install and the first file which we need to install is the vendor zip file which is this guy over here, beryllium vendor firmware for oxygen OS dot zip file. Select this guy and then swipe to confirm flash. Once vendor zip file has flashed successfully, click on the home button. Now we will go into mount and we will select vendor, click on the home button, click on advanced, we will go into file manager, scroll down and we will go into the vendor folder, click on overlay, then click on this check mark button on the bottom right and then click on delete and then swipe to confirm. Once that has completed successfully, click on the home button, click on install and the next file which we need to install is the lineage OS zip file. We will select this guy and then swipe to confirm flash. Once lineage OS zip file has flashed successfully, click on the home button, click on install and the next file which we need to install is the disable force encryption zip file, this guy over here. Select it and then swipe to confirm flash. Once disable force encryption has installed successfully, click on the home button, click on reboot and then click on recovery. Back into Twerp recovery, we will click on install 
and then we will click on install image on the bottom right now we need to select our android qgsi which is this guy the dot image file on the next screen we will select system image make sure that this option is checked and then swipe to confirm flash once android qgsi image file has flashed successfully click on the home button click on install and the next zip file which we need to flash is the fix zygote.zip file select this guy and then swipe to confirm flash once fix zygote zip file has installed successfully click on the home button click on install the next zip file which we need to flash is the permissiver zip file so select this guy permissiver underscore v2 and then swipe to confirm flash once permissiver zip file has flashed successfully click on the home button click on reboot and then click on recovery back into to app recovery we will click on wipe and then you need to click on format data type in yes do note this is where we are deleting your internal storage so make sure you have backed up all your images videos and anything important which you have on the phone and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right once this is done all we need to do is click on reboot system and bam there we have it the google boot animation is in the building which means we have successfully installed android qgsi on a xiaomi poco f1 the first boot up will take some time around two to three minutes so you have to be patient and hold your horses there it is android qgsi in the building the dpi is very small and the screen is flickering do note initial android qgsi port so all these things are all but expected but we gonna fix the dpi open the app drawer go into settings then you need to go into about phone once you're in about phone this is the bill number over here you need to tap on it seven times you will get a message that you are now a developer then you need to click on the back button then you need to go into system click on show more or advanced whatever it is and then we need to click on developer options once we are in developer options we'll have an option to change the dpi i know my camera is struggling to focus here it is let me see if i can find that option here it is it is down in the drawing section smallest width we'll select this guy and then we're going to change it to 411 there it is once you type in 411 you need to click on this check mark button this blue button over here and then click on ok if i can find the ok button there it is our dpi just changed and everything is now big and readable let's go into settings about phone and bam there you have it android q gsi on the xiaomi poco f1 phone again as i mentioned earlier initial port not a daily driver yet but if you want to play with android key on your xiaomi poco f1 this is how you can install it that's it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you